quick review tonight, um, and it's a review on the Quadlock family of products. Um, if you follow my channel for some time, uh, you might have seen my video a couple of years ago when I got my first uh, iPhone case, the Quadlock case for the iPhone 6. Um, never been into cases before that, but I was finding that I was getting more likely to drop my phone. They were getting sort of more slippery and smaller and I just thought it was about time to invest in a case. So I, I, I threw some money at Quadlock. Um, it's by far the, uh, it's far from the cheapest case on the market, but I did quite like uh, their range of products. So I picked up the iPhone 6 case. I also picked up a mount for my bike, uh, my Brompton, and a mount for the car. So I've been using this for two years. As you can tell, it's new phone time for me, and uh, I have reinvested in Quadlock. And the reason is that my iPhone 6, uh, despite many uh, drops and being treated uh, sort of relatively um, carelessly at times, it's remained in perfect working condition. Um, I was actually starting to wonder whether uh, the longevity of uh, Apple products had been uh, deteriorating. Sort of, I, This was probably my third or fourth iPhone and uh, probably my second and third iPhones didn't see uh, didn't see their full two years out before they broke, their screens broke, their batteries seemed to fail. Um, so this was a really pleasant surprise. So just before we get onto the new stuff, um, taking a look at the case and the phone, um, we'll, we'll hop in for a little close up, but you know, apart from a little bit of pocket fluff, a little bit of smoothing where it's sort of the, the plastics around there sort of been rubbing on stuff, it looks as good as new. Um, popping the phone out, again, you've got probably a little bit of fluff around the edges there, um, but no damage to the screen, no cracks, no bashes. Inside, you've got, uh, as we'll see on the on the new range of products, you've got a little sort of foam mat. Again, it's picked up a few bits of fluff, rubber surrounds, but yeah, it's been incredibly uh, resilient. So I'm kind of quite invested in the iPhone, uh, in the Quadlock uh, range of products, and iPhone 11 matching case and I've picked up a few other things so the iPhone 11 is obviously now uh, capable of wireless charging so I've got a wireless charging head that will uh, retrofit to my car mount uh, from two years ago also got a desk mount so I can pop that on my desk with a nice sort of a uh, with with the charging head on it um, I can use it to watch a, a movie or a YouTube video in bed uh, running armband I'll take it up running so and a few other bits and bobs but let's get into this uh, and look at these products in some detail. We've got the new iPhone 11 out of its case, um, all ready to go and charged up. So let's pop it in its new case. Um, all the Quadlock cases sort of, uh, or boxes seem to come with this nice pull tab, which is quite, quite nice to stop you fiddling around with everything. Exactly the same style of design as we saw on the iPhone 6 case, um, Quadlock uh, fitting, uh, sort of port dock, whatever you call it there, um, rubber buttons, a few openings for switch, charging point, speakers, and obviously the the multiple lenses of the new uh, 4K camera there. Um, so really it's a case of just popping it in. As I say, it's got a foam sort of tray for it to sit in, uh, hard sort of uh, plastic structure with a sort of rubber outer just to sort of pinch around the edges. And really it's a case of just squeezing it into position and there you go straight in no problem at all next up we've got the uh, desk mount very very simple design so it's a, a simple single piece of metal there with a, a slot at the back so you can feed any cables through to allow you to charge it when it's in situ you've got an adjustable head so you can uh, finesse the angle at which you're going to view your phone or look at your phone and the phones as with all quadlock products it's a sort of 45 degree twist just straighten that up sorry a 45 degree twist to mount and unmount the phones very very simple on the base of this you can see it's sliding around there on the base, you've got a little bit of nano uh, suction pad. I've not taken off the uh, the protective film yet, 
but that will secure it in place on your desk beside your bed wherever you might want it let's just see how that works so this is all, almost a reusable adhes adhesive pad and uh, actually you can see how firm that attaches it to the surface obviously when you want to move it it comes off relocatable and obviously easily adjusted you can go for the uh, landscape or portrait variety and as I say you can adjust the angle at which you're going to view it as well. Okay to go with that we've obviously got the the wireless charging head so that's going to be a retrofit onto the uh, the charging mount so if you just pop the phone off undo the uh, the supplied uh, mount and we can fit on the uh, the charging head obviously this comes with a suitable uh, cable I think it's a, a USB to USB C cable so it's a case of just simply screwing this on here there's actually a, a couple of lines at the top there just so if you're going to become fixated on whether you've got it straight at least you'll know categorically you've lined it up as best as you reasonably can and like with the the uh, other head obviously this has got a bit more technology in the back of it so we'll, we'll go on to that in a minute um, but you've got a 45 degree twist on that and then that will go into charging mode we'll just plug that in and I'll show you how that functions so we've got this powered up now um, the first thing to notice on the rear here is there's a, a little button which can allow you to turn off the status indicator. So I use, I've use i been using this recently and I, I would leave that off typically because I have this beside my bed and in a dark room these uh, little LEDs showing you the, the charging status are actually quite bright really. So green means that it's uh, reaching full charge. I think if it's, if it's red that means your phone's uh, in desperate need of charge. Obviously, if you take the phone off charge, the uh, the indicator goes on to blue, which simply shows that uh, it is active. As I say, you can simply turn that off. Still functioning. And if we just turn this towards the camera, that suction base really is quite powerful. Um, you can see, as soon as it comes in contact, it is uh, going into charge mode. And then likewise, as soon as you take it off, it stops charging. And the next product um, that I picked up this time was the uh, the sports armband. So if you follow my channel, you'll know that I've been running for probably, I think must be getting on for two years now, 18 months, two years. Um, and I've been using my iPhones, my whatever phone I've got, typically an iPhone, as my uh, sort of uh, Strava. So I've been using these to track my runs, see how I'm progressing. and up until now I've used a, a very small, um, dare I say it, bum bag, um, but the iPhone 11 is a little bit too big for that and actually it's not the greatest uh, feeling to run with something tied around your waist. So I thought I'd give the armband a go. Um, I've used this for the last couple of weeks and i um, really quite pleased with it. Um, so nicely packaged as per usual. It does come with some stickers in here uh, which is interesting they don't seem to put stickers in with any other products so obviously they think runners like stickers so maybe they'll go somewhere um, and yeah as I say it's uh, it's proven to be very very good so simple velcro armband um, two adjustable straps so you've got a good range of uh, adjustability um, I'm Mr Average so I've not really had to stretch it out too much um, as with the other products it's always going to be a 45 degree uh, twist into place um, but on these and also I think the motorcycle mounts you do have a secondary uh, sort of lock and that's just a sprung plastic lever which just blocks the, uh, the, 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 the ability to turn this so it's not going to disengage unless you're both pressing that down and giving it 45 degree twist um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, 
I did have reservations. I did wonder, is this going to feel heavy? Because um, the iPhone 11, you know, first first impressions of it compared to the iPhone 6 I've previously had, is that is a big phone. Um, how's it going to feel on my arm? And I guess first time you put it on, you, you obviously do notice the weight, but as soon as you start running, um, you completely forget that you're wearing it. Much more comfortable wearing something around your waist. Um, completely uh, secure. No doubt in my mind that it, it's going to stay with me until the end of my run. Um, the other reservation I had was actually this is sort of quite a, a sort of solid piece of it's almost neoprene sort of wetsuit style material with velcro on it. Um, as you run, as you get hot, um, you, 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 your blood rushes into your muscles, even on your arms, and, and you do sort of get that sense that you know you you slightly uh, your 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 muscles slightly swell up because you're using your arms to run as well. Um, would this remain comfortable? And and to be honest, absolutely yes. I've never had to adjust this, so I always put it on suitably tight, so there's no wobble on the uh, on the armband. But it's been super super comfy. Um, so I'm really, really very pleased with that and I don't think I'll be going back to wearing any sort of running kit around my waist and I'm really comfortable with uh, with the security of it. Now, when I first got my uh, iPhone 6, I did get what they call the poncho, which is a, a secondary cover, a clear uh, rubber shell to go over it. Um, as iPhones have improved their, their waterproof qualities, um, I don't think that's really necessary. I think if you're using this on a motorbike when you're having sort of uh, water forced into the phone potentially at great uh, pressure, at great speed, um, maybe that's where you'd use one of the rubber ponchos. But I think in general day-to-day -day life, uh, bicycle or running, I don't see the value. Um, the other little interesting thing on these is that uh, in the manual it sort of indicates that that's going to go, uh, the little lever's going to go facing towards the back, so I guess you're you're just touching it with your, your finger there. I'm in two minds which is more comfortable to operate, but um, I'm sure you'll come to your own conclusion. I don't think it really makes any difference in terms of uh, security, just in terms of what you're comfortable with. Okay, well, I think that's about it, really. Um, I did pick up a couple of extra bits, um, one being the uh, the tripod mount. Um, really not a lot to show on that one. Um, that is simply... Uh, to allow me maybe to set up the camera to do a bit of 4K uh, close-up B-roll for the videos. So uh, that, that's really a YouTube investment. And also because it was so cheap, um, I thought this might be quite cool as well. So this is a, a phone ring stand. Um, the phone ring is kind of like what those uh, teenage girls use as a pop socket so you can actually have your finger through your your, your sort of uh, uh, contact on your phone, so maybe easier for selfies. But more importantly, uh, it allows your phone to uh, be mounted standing up. Um, so I'll set set end of the video, but let's have a quick look at that. Um, so that just basically fits on in the same way as all other quad lock products. Um, let's just pop that out so I can get it into place. Uh, you'll want it in that orientation, because if you're going to be doing selfies, you're going to have your finger around it like that and indeed if you're going to want your phone to be stood up you're also going to want to have it like that as well so I think oh I think actually that's probably the way you want to do it isn't it so you're going to have it stood up with the ring downwards like that and if you're sat on a train if you're sat uh, in your in your bed wanting to watch a video with this mounted on your sideboard um, that's the way to do it so that's pretty cool um, the interesting thing with this as well They've kind of had a little bit of a think and they thought that's not going to need to be on there when you're putting it in the car. So they've also included a little carabiner so you can pop that on your key rings. Uh, so you've got somewhere to put it when you're using your cord lock phone, uh, your cord lock case and your phone for something else. Okay, well, that really is it now. Um, a quick couple of bonus features there. Um, very, very pleased with this. I've got no doubt uh, the case will not let me down for, for the required two years until it's time to renew my phone. Um, not quite sure how good that is for the, uh, the environment. Maybe we should keep our phones for a little bit longer. Um, but that is maybe. Um, yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, not uh, all about phones. Um, quality footwear. Denim, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of thing. A little bit on the running, a little bit of cycling, 
um, please check it out. You might share some other common interests with me. And uh, if you found this useful, of course, give it a thumbs up. And I'd love it if you subscribed. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.